This is our fourth video assignment of ELL 212 on color sensing in advanced camera system submitted by Anvesh Gupta and Anurag Rawat. The essence of our topic color sensing in advanced camera system comes from the importance that these colorful images holds for us be it the images of people or things we like or the pleasure that we derive from sharing and receiving them. Not only this culture blooms for its aesthetic value but it has derived itself in a high rise competition of consumerism the stunning examples to support this claim are various apps like snapchat instagram pixart whatsapp and cameras like dslr canon nikon etc having established the beauty images have in our life let us go further and analyze the idea of what an image is it is a digital representation of an optical scene or a field of view the term optical scene here symbolizes the essence of light energy that is reflected from various objects and the efforts to capture it in the best possible way in order to capture light we must first know what it comprises of well the light is an electromagnetic spectrum and visible light ranges from 420 nanometers to 700 nanometers and each of this particular nanometer is in itself a composition of energy packets which are called photons Over the years scientists have been involved in devising advanced ways to capture these photons previously photographic film was used the photographic film is simply a layer of gelatin over which another layer of silver halide or silver bromide is put up so what actually happens is when the photons carrying energy strike this layer of silver halide or silver bromide it with its energy splits the atom and the bond into its three constituent parts which is an electron a bromide atom and a silver positive ion within the silver halide crystal the electrons get attracted to a particular zone which is called the sensitivity spec this higher concentration of electron in turn causes a chain reaction and further attracts the silver positive ions now the concentration of the silver positive ions when they come closer to the electrons get intensified in the same manner that the photons were striking so when these films are sent for developing in special labs through the chemical processes we finally get the extracted image in a negative form which is converted into its positive aspect these photographic film has certain limitations they need high maintenance as they need to be stored for a longer period of time also we don't get images instantly it need time to develop images so all in all for today's generation it's not cool enough so what's next well the rigorous attempt of technology is to always capture images as good as our eyes can well this is entirely the vision of technology in image sensing cameras are in fact digital eyes let us see how our human eye works light is incident on cornea and converges to our natural screen called retina the optic nerve converts this signal into electrical signal and feeds it to the brain our eye also consists of rods and cones rods convert photons into electrical impulse via intensity of light and cones deals with colors and are of three types red green and blue so this derived concept of image sensing from natural eye is done in cameras which basically converts photons to charge at pixel level and converts charges to voltage after amplification for external circuits the basic construct of image sensing is photons photocurrent charge and voltage which can be seen through both the parallels of nature and technology where the replacements for nature are pn diode for human eye capacitor in pn supported circuit for retina capacitor as an optical nerve and amplifier for electrical impulses received in brain to see the working principle of image sensing the first step is to convert the light energy to photo current via photodiode which is a pn junction operated in reverse bias the second step is to convert photo current to charge via capacitor and the third step is to convert the charge to voltage via amplifier with the above elements comprising what is called a pixel setup we come to two conventional technologies first one ccd is called the charged coupled device it converts the charge to voltage individually layer by layer with the help of shift registers it uses more power but less noise and is used preferably in aerial and space images the second is cmos technology that is complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology 
and the difference between CCD and CMOS is that instead of shuffling the signals one by one in, in an array, CMOS uses extra circuitry for each individual pixel and sends the final signal directly down the line. The power usage drops down and processing speed increases but the noise factor increases too. On a comparative analysis, CCDs are more expensive and use more power. Also, they create less digital noise and work better in low light, whereas for CMOS, they have some rolling shutter issues. After the conceptualization of image sensing and capturing, we now move on to the broader basis of what actually color sensing and capturing is. The very inherent problem in color detection in camera is that silicon pixels cannot distinguish between different colors or how much of any particular color it has absorbed given the incidence of photons only. So the solution of this problem is by using a colored filter above all pixels which only allows a particular color of light to pass through it. This can be achieved through the following advancements which are Bayer filter with interpolation and polarization. Let us see how Bayer filter works. Bayer filters allow light of different wavelength to pass through its corresponding section. It is placed above silicon layer. As the human eye are more sensitive to green color and found it soothing, hence the pattern of pixels thus formed consists of 50% green information, 25% blue information and 25% red information in alternate pattern. Here is a comparison of the original image and the one which is formed after using a bare filter. The reason why it is such is because let's say for a particular pixel which was covered with green cover, it had the perfect amount of green percentage in it but lacked the other percentages of red and blue. So such distorted images are formed and that is why we need an algorithm such that we can have the appropriate amount of the other colors as well for that particular pixel and this motivates the concept of demosizing. Demosizing is a technique in image processing to construct a color image from the one which lacks pixel information. What it basically does is that it derives the missing pixel information from the available ones with the help of an algorithm. Here is a simple averaging algorithm called interpolation which uses the adjacent pixel information and takes its mean to develop the absent information for that particular color. As we can see on using interpolation, the image is much clearer, of better quality and has closer contrast with that of the original image. All because the lack of pixel information for a particular pixel of all the colors is compensated by this algorithm. All these techniques becomes redundant if we can't eliminate the unwanted light energy. Hence, we use polarization filters. Polarized light is the one which is constrained to propagate in a particular orientation. This concept is used in photography to minimize glare or unwanted reflections by placing a polaroid in front of lens. In the second picture, when we take a photo of the sky from a normal camera, it has too much reflection and glare. But with using a polaroid in the second half, the picture becomes more intensified and of better quality. The final image after using a polarizer is as close as we can get to an original image. As we can still see, there is a lot of scope for improvement. Coming to the point of scope of improvements, we now see a lot of budding enthusiasts and entrepreneurs who work for precision in demosizing algorithms to make new trends and apps under image processing, which consequently leads to cutthroat competitions in cinematography, photography and sci-fi industries all for the advent of consumerism. Not only this, this field also has its applications in robotics, gamings, and automotive interfacing. Even for military use, the concept of UAV or eyes in the sky is very helpful which ultimately identifies aerial objects through on land and water. With this, we conclude our presentation on color sensing in advanced camera system. Thank you for watching.